Why do I have so many half-filled water bottles in my room? Look at this. In that. When I was younger, I went to the Special Olympics for, uh, for track and field. Special Olympics is crazy. People have this idea that just because dude is missing a hand that he can't run for some reason. Yes, he can. I know Billy can't spell his name, but he can throw that discus 17 blocks. My homie was uh, was blind as hell, completely blind, but he was fast then. The school we went to, FSDB, people stopped wanting to go against us in track meets. Nobody wants to get beat by the blind kids. <laughs> we was dust. Track team was legendary. Our swim team was bonkers. The crazy thing about when you blind and, and you swim uh, is they, they hit you on the head with a tennis ball to let you know that you're supposed to do your flip turn. Just a long stick and a tennis ball. I was on the wrestling team. We had blind cats on the wrestling team. We start different, but if I got a hold of you, I'm not letting go because I don't know when I'm going to get you again. We did have a goal ball team, though, which is, which is a hard sport to play. Basically, it's three people to a side. You basically play it on a basketball court. Everybody is blindfolded, regardless of whether you're blind or not. And you got to throw this ball with a bell in it as hard as you can to make it hit the wall of the, of the you know, behind the people that are that are trying to stop you. Basically, sprawl your body out like that to stop the ball, but you got to hear it. So the whole room is quiet. Doesn't sound like it would be especially uh, hard, but it's really hard, especially uh, since that ball hits you in the face a lot and the testicles. Dude, I went to FSDB with in Florida, David Kramer. He was on the Olympics uh, goal ball team, and he's albino. He's a, he's a white albino, but still, he a pale warrior. A lot of albinos was at that school. I remember we had a teacher, Mr. Curtsy, Sammy Curtsy. He was the wrestling coach. He was albino, but he was like different albino. He was he like had more pigment, but he was still albino, blind as hell and all that shit. He used to get us all hyped up in wrestling practice. He used to get a slam in the mat. Will somebody tell you that you can't do it? What do you say to him? Somebody tell you that you too blind for that. What you say? And then we all be like, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. And it's Florida, so you know any chance eventually it's gonna turn into a dance party. We up in the balcony. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Track and field was my shit though. I loved 100 meter, 200. Remember this one time I almost hit this blind girl in the head with a discus. Um, like I didn't mean to. It was just that I threw it and it didn't go where I thought it was gonna throw it to, and it was headed like right for her. But what I'm, what am I gonna say? Look out. That's fucked up. Like, what if I say, look out, and then she, not knowing which way to look out to, moves into the path of the discus. And then it's like, I, I meant to, I like, that's diabolical. So I just didn't say nothing and prayed that it didn't hit her. But also, I'm legally blind, so I was too far away to see if it was going to hit her. So I just had to, like, wait for the clank. I never, I never did hear the clank, so I just assumed, you know, it didn't hit her. And then I just decided, I'm going to just stick to the high jump, long jump, and the other things disc is not for me shit that we were allowed to get away with and well we weren't always allowed the shit that we did i saw my little homie got choked by an adult teacher he was like eight or nine teacher got mad at him because ricky had called her a bitch or something like that he said something ragged so she grabbed his ass up put his neck on this metal chair leg and put her knee on the back of his neck and was pressing on that bitch i'm listening to ricky <coughs> I'm like nine. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And finally, she lets him up. And what does Ricky do? Fuck you, bitch. Ricky would have WWF style matches in the living room with his mom. He broke his elbow on a on cement playing street football, and then didn't go to and didn't go inside until after the game was over. I've seen that kid knocked unconscious more times before 12 years old than I've seen like football players. I'm thinking about we did not have a lot of supervision. Which is crazy since our vision wasn't super. You see what I see what it did there? What the hell happened to chicken pox? Is that gone? Is chicken pox gone? Don't nobody get chicken pox no more? I had chicken pox. Don't nobody get no chicken pox no more? I remember sitting in bathtubs full of pink shit. And like, why was there another kid there? I need to ask my mom about some things. I remember being in the bath, just pox all up on, on your body. You couldn't go to school or nothing. Did they cure chicken pox? Was I the last motherfucker to have chicken pox? That's fucked up, man. I don't want to be part of the generation that had some shit like the consumption. I know what I think about them motherfuckers. Like, my mom got polio. I'm like, 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 God damn, y'all motherfuckers had polio. That was long ago. And now I feel like that's going to be me with chicken pox. What the fuck do y'all have? What this new generation got that, that the next generation ain't going to have? Y'all was eating Tide Pods. Y'all did that. But we snorted pixie sticks, so I really can't, you know what I'm saying? Y'all do be sad a lot. But so do we. We just, you know, we did we did drugs a lot. I don't have COVID. COVID. COVID might be y'all thing. COVID might be the thing that y'all have where like in in like 60 years, the kids are going to be like, motherfucker, y'all had COVID? Ugh. COVID might be your chicken pox. I hope it is. 
because now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it's disrespectful that y'all gonna probably think about me having chicken pox the way I think about motherfuckers back then having like the consumption. I don't know when I don't I don't know when it happened. My balls are long now though. You ever been talking to somebody and the conversation changed, but you wasn't paying attention, so you didn't hear you didn't hear it? I was having a conversation with this couple after the show this one time. And at first we was talking about this movie I love, Camp Nowhere. And then I started thinking about the movie, but they were still talking. And then when I came back to the conversation, we was not on that movie no more like i came back and this is what i heard you need to see the pain in their face when you beat your kids yeah i'm sorry what apparently mid-conversation these two this couple had started talking about how they go in on their children i was perplexed i did that laugh thing to where you see if somebody joking or not <laughs> yeah huh oh shit they was explaining shit that you do in bar fights that's not that's not discipline no more that's assault fam. speak up when they ain't looking Get in his ass. I'm over here like, do I do I need to call some? What's your name? What's your first and last? I don't want to be involved. And then I realized I didn't need to get involved. Because the lady said this. It's a good thing CPS took them because we, they were getting too big to hit. The fuck? I feel like a lot of our problems in society could be solved with naked. Just imagine if Congress, every time they met, everybody had to be bucket naked. I feel like them lifetime limits is gone because I'm not looking at that for the rest of my life. Also, the smells in that room. Smells like two bags of rotten cats. Like, also, how you gonna get all indignant hands swinging and we ain't gonna do this with your man titties swinging like that? Like, women to be like, oh, every, everybody's naked and it's televised? Let's go. My titties been done for 32 years and I'm on menopause. Let's go. It's gonna be the dudes. It's gonna be like, but nah, y'all like wanna, but, but I feel like it's inappropriate though. I don't, why you worried, Frank? What's wrong with your dangle? The education system in this country is a real problem. Hey, homie, why your dick hard? Huh? Um, absolutely do think that we need to do some things about the healthcare. Say, yo, my man, why your dick hard? It's not hard, shut up. So the medical industry, my man get a dick hard for healthcare. That's crazy. The roads in my city are getting, sir, sir, no. The roads in my cities have got some recent updates, but sir, put it away. I know it's a biological thing. I just said, why is it pointed at me? So we are going to take a short recess while we figure some, um, figure some things out. Be back in a, 10 minutes. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Um. So uh, moving forward, we're going to try and keep the arousal from everybody to a minimum, if at all possible. We are, of course, including women in that guideline, Gladys and Gloria. Highly unacceptable. I'm going to ask that the delegate from Kentucky and the delegate from Louisiana stop playing slap penis. It's distracting to many, many of us. No, I know. I know it's I like it's cool in your state, but it, like we're on TV right now and I can I, I can really smell it. You're just sitting next to each other. It doesn't mean you're gay. Yes, it is still harassment. Well, did he ask you to put your finger in there? God, it smells so bad in here. That's actually kind of gay. Also, you cannot do that here, but congratulations. The fuck is that? Okay, we'll just try this again tomorrow. All right, we're dismissed, and uh, everybody, fucking shower. I don't like how in prison movies, there's not nearly enough crying. Because if I go to jail, I'm going to be crying. Multiple parts of the whole situation on day one i'm gonna be crying like the strip search i'm gonna be crying yeah y'all yeah, gotta really look in there i'm gonna be crying when i meet my cellmate you sleep on the bottom bunk <laughs> at my first meal <laughs> i can't give you my fruit cup <laughs> because you're gonna make me do stuff crying on that first shower <laughs> nasty in here. <laughs> but you don't never see that in movies like people just show up on their first day and just walk in the cell like hey what's up man like somebody didn't just look in your booty a half hour ago all in between your butt cheeks people be getting fucked up in jail i'm not built like that i don't like seeing people get fucked up bad you just gotta sit there and watch dude get hit repeatedly with a sock full of batteries and shit just People don't get shanked once or twice. You get shanked 40, 50 times and shit. It don't be killing them, but it be like little ass stabs and shit. I don't want to see that. Like, I've seen people get fucked up. I've seen some, f I've, ooh, I've seen people get fucked up. In very few cases did I have to see the fucker upper the next day. There needs to be way more crying in these, in these, in these prison movies, man. Like, what about beating your dick? You beat your dick, somebody gonna hear you. That's just how it's gonna be. Another dude gonna hear you beat your dick every single time for the next 10 to 25. I'm gonna cry about that. Like, I'm going to cry about that. Also, prison look like it stink. It don't look like it's a place where I can go where it just don't stink, and I don't want that. I'm going to cry about that. There's too many damn shows where everybody in prison just handling it well. I feel like that's disrespect. I'm legally blind, too. If I have to join a gang, and they need to go, they need me to go stab somebody, what if I stab the wrong person? Because, I, you know, I ain't got, they ain't going to let me have my glasses or nothing. I'm going to cry about that. I want some more realism on the crying in the prison system.
One thing that I always thought was crazy, like, because I played football in high school. Not well, by the way. I don't make that clear. But you know I was out there. I was a running back. Running backs don't typically talk a lot of shit. The reason for that is because they real big over there. I get hit every play. I'm not about to make a whole bunch of people that's bigger than me mad. I'm too close to the ball. The people that talk the most shit on any football team are the receivers and the and the DB. They're the farthest away from the ball. They usually get hit one-on-one. -on -one. Linebackers do talk shit, but nobody really considers it talking shit because most of them are crazy. Quarterbacks really only talk shit when when somebody fucks up and they got hit real hard but running backs nah we not gonna we not gonna really talk to you dog because people forget sometimes i gotta block people that i can't really block go to your coach and be like hey coach uh you know on that naked boot um you want me to you want me to slide out there and block uh that that dn um he he's six seven and he he weigh three hundred and seventy six pounds, fam. Just get in the way is all I really need you to do. I feel what you're saying, but like last time I just got in his way, he picked me up and threw me to the sideline. Son, it's not like I'm trying to ask you to block the entire team, cause like my neck was hurt though. Just get it, just get in the way a little bit. Hey, yeah, that's I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, coach. Why are you acting like I asked you to do unreasonable things, son? Remember last week when um when I was upside down and then and then I got hit. And then I lost consciousness, and then the ball came out. Do I remember last week when you fumbled the fucking football? Yes, I do. And then you remember, like, how, like, the next day at practice, you made me run until I forgot who I was? And I feel like that was an appropriate punishment. Get in there and block 71. You right. I'm, I'm going to do that. Hey, 71, I just want you to know that um, I love you. The longer I stand at an ATM, the poorer I feel. Like, you ever see somebody just walk up, get cash, and bounce with no worry? I'll be like, damn, it's like that. I'll be up there doing fucking math. All right, so Hulu gonna post in three days. If I deposit this check and then set up a payment arrangement with my phone, and then I go to the ATM on 4th because they let you take out 10s, I can get 30 out now and not have to go inside the bank to get out 35. I can't wait till I can walk up to an ATM and just get out 100 without even checking the balance. Just walk in the room with comma in your bank account type energy. You feel me? This, this how it be when it's 1237 and the direct deposit ain't hit yet.